Hello tubers, here we are with the off-grid camp or the young fellas cabin and this is the Istabreeze i700 flying on the roof. We got 1,000 watts of panels and we're going to increase that to another 500 watts for 1,500 watts because when we added the i700 we had to convert the battery bank which is in fact life 4 from a 12 volt bank to a 24 volt bank to accommodate the turbine. Now, had we had a different charge controller, we wouldn't have had to, but with the Chinese charge controller, it would only work with its rated voltage on the battery bank. So we just converted the battery bank to allow the turbine to function up here. And once again, we'll add to this window two more uh, panels, one on the left of the upper window and one on the right, and just kick the bottoms out a little bit for. Uh, they're 250 watt panels a piece. They'll become 500 watts in one string and the roof string is 500 watts in one string and the ground string is another 500 watts. So presently there's a thousand watts with the i700 turbine and we will add another 500 watts on a third string and total 1500 watts of solar on the off-grid camp. Hello Vinny, the guard dog. Good guard dog he is. So, we have once again freezer batteries. Remember, this is just a camp or a cabin, and in the freezer is eight white 200 amp hour batteries wired in one string. They go to the bus bars with this BMS, and these other two batteries are two 12 volt batteries that are wired in series, and then they too go to the uh, bus bars, and they are built-in BMS in each 12 volt battery in series making them a 24 volt battery but they are only a hundred amp hour battery the black ones and the white ones are a 200 amp hour so we have 300 amp hours of 24 volt battery bank and in the middle is this which is the heater which plugs into the wall and should they get cold that heater will turn on and keep them from uh, damage should there be cold temperatures freezer batteries. This is the inverter, 24 volt inverter, 2500 watt pure sine wave inverter and it's also a charger for the generator. Plug the generator into it and you can charge directly through it. It's also for uh, MPPT solar charging but I don't use it for that. This is the MPPT charge controller and it is uh, a Chinese made. It works very well. Uh, present there is 26.1 volts for the battery bank. So I can dial you in here, and we are bringing in from the sun 4.1 amps. It's early in the morning, and we are at 20 kilometer winds. We can see the turbines kicking out. It has been fused. There's three fuses on the turbine coming in, and a red one beside that for the main breaker to the charge controller. Uh, the dump load is a 32 amp dump load that came with it, and the charge controller is reading presently on amps. We're only getting 2.3, but we are only in low rated winds. So we'll turn this back here. We're at 26.2 volts, and we can see the Estabreeze working on the off grid camp. 74% full, 0.1 amp is coming in now. Once again, we are only in rated wind. 7 watts. So the winds are expected today, later on this evening, to kick up to 30 kilometers, which would make a, a bigger improvement on this because once again, this is the uh, longer blades on the turbine for the I-700. It has the 107 centimeter blades on it, and they were balanced just like the I-1500 blades were right out of the box. When I put them on and I labeled them one, two, three, after spinning them, there was no heavy blade, so I had no need to balance them. This is working very well so far, but it's only been installed as of yet. So this is the latest update, and we can compare, I believe, uh, the results with this and the other turbine to say that uh, we can give you some results as to what hours over time. So uh, as of yet, guys, we the wind isn't going to kick out until later today up to 30 kilometers. That's what I'm looking for. And we can see what the results are for this little setup we got here on the off-grid camp. So until next time, thanks for watching and happy testing. That's all I got.